And now we're into start sequence. Less than one minute to the start. What's going on? Four boats were a minute off, maybe five.
right, fighting it out this time. And we've got a clean start this time. Not bad going, all told. And over they go. Shady lady, get her up and let her run. You're just killing it until you get pointed. That's not illegal to get put off in the park like that, is it? Fancy Free had started on port tack. He came up to air supply and decided to go over to starboard rather than duck. Of course, they had two boats to duck, so that was probably a good decision. Of course, none of those boats are sailing into that beach too far. Passion 3 has already come back around onto Port Tack. That's going to be the favored one to start this course off and get everybody out into a little bit, of, little bit more breeze. I don't see that there's going to be any advantage by going inshore today. Right now Fancy Free is sweating it out for draft. They don't have too much more than their five and a half feet right now. There's our Morgan Out Island 33. All right, that means all boats have started. We'll get everybody well underway and we'll see you in Key West.
All right, that would give Catabella a finish time of approximately 22 hours and 9 minutes. Excuse me, 7 minutes. Where are you, Doc? Yep. Yeah, we had them right in front of All right. Like they do at the marina. Washington, And that's the finish for Constellation, the Swan 48. There's the line and welcome to Key West. There's their horn and welcome to Key West guys. for me I realized I don't have your home address and such if you can send me copies of your driver's licenses if you're planning on putting this in both names send me both um, then I can make the offer more complete yeah you can type that out but when it, I just well welcome wind dancer to Key West
is a race day appearance from one of our video sponsors, the Key West Express. Fort Myers. All right, we get a quick shot of everybody on camera here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you like that early warning? Oh, there's another face. Hi. <laughs> All right. Welcome. 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 Hey, which marina are you going to? Key West Fight, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Key West. Not many. There's air supply under power, but they're here in Key West. All right, I'm Jeff here with Main Soul News TV. We're at the Rum Barrel at the corner of Simonton and Front Street. Now, they've been uh, plenty gracious enough to uh, give us a little hosting for the Bone Island Regatta that had three starts in Tampa, Sarasota, and then in Naples. We're back down here in Key West right now with Pat Dunn, who is the head chef here at the Bone Island Regatta. Pat, now I've looked over your menu pretty well. It looks like you uh, 
stick to some really basic stuff that people like, and it looks like you got some interesting takes on things. You want to tell us about what you got here? Yeah, we got um, we have a twist on a, on a lot of the everyday uh, classics. Here's our little twist on a uh, cheesesteak, uh, Philly cheesesteak. This is a uh, cheesesteak spring roll right here. Um, people eat them up during the Eagles game, Phillies games, Flyers games. They love it. So this is our twist on a uh, Philadelphia classic right here. And... Uh, now, having meat in a spring roll like that, I mean, that's something I can really go for. I'm a meat lover <laughs> myself, you know. Great stuff. Uh, thank you. And uh, here we have uh, ribs. We, we braise them in the oven for about three hours. And um, we serve them with french fries, coleslaw, and never had a complaint on them. People love them, and they eat them up. So we're making them about every other day. So we're, people are killing it. I'll be reporting back to you on that one. <laughs> um, here is our twist on a... Uh, on a bacon cheeseburger. We call it the Big Ass Burger. And it is. And it's our number one seller. People love it. Um, it's a 10-ounce uh, burger, grilled to perfection, covered with bacon, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and onion, served on a uh, sesame bun. So stop on in, guys, and eat it up. <laughs> All right. Thanks very much, Pat. Uh, I, I, I know you uh, cater a lot to the sports fans around here. Um, a lot of these local places don't really acknowledge a lot of sailing as a sport and things like that and you said you don't know much about it but you know we're all sports lovers exactly you know it, it's it's here for the competition and the beef <laughs> <laughs> I, I i love being out in the water so anything that's involved in, on the water i'm a fan of i just wish i had more time to do it myself <laughs> <laughs> i know how that job gets in the way of life hey, man that and the two-year-olds <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Pat. I hope you all stop in and, and enjoy some of this good hospitality we've had here down in Key West at the Rum Barrel. Thank you. Okay.